When Indiana lawmakers passed a hands-free driving bill earlier this year, they hoped that it would help put an end to distracted driving. But did it do much at all? Caitlin Kendall is digging deeper into those numbers for us tonight. Caitlin. Brian, we all see it. People driving down the road, looking at their phones. It's become one of the biggest factors in crashes. I looked into the number of citations, both warnings and tickets, that police have issued since the bill became a law and found that Indiana has a long road ahead before the law has much effect. Governor Eric Holcomb signed House Bill 1070 back in June. The law went into effect July 1st. I think we needed to address it. State Senator Dennis Cruz co-sponsored the hands-free driving bill that passed this summer. The police have a power now to stop somebody and give them a ticket for you know, using their cell phone while they're driving. But how often are police using that power? We got the numbers. The Indiana Criminal Justice Institute reported that law enforcement statewide issued 3,519 warnings and 889 tickets from July 1st to October 14th. That's an average of fewer than nine tickets a day across all of Indiana. Let's not let's not mistake. We are enforcing it. I mean, obviously, we're, so we've got, uh, you know, a warning is still traffic enforcement. And so I think maybe those numbers might start to, to sway probably about the six, seven, eight month mark. We, again, we want to give plenty of time um, into the here into the new year. In the 11 counties that are part of ABC 21's viewing area, state police issued 210 warnings and 23 tickets. The Fort Wayne Police Department doesn't track warnings and issued one ticket, an overwhelmingly large gap of ticket to warning ratio. Now, as an officer, you've seen firsthand what can happen when people are driving distracted. Do you think that a warning is enough? Uh, sometimes it is. Sometimes it's just that very simple, um, friendly reminder that, that the law is now in effect. Seems like it's a low amount. The toll of distracted driving is something Davida Kinchin's family lives with every day. What's it like for you guys to come down here to Dickey Road 12 years later since losing Rodney? It's still surreal. It doesn't, it just doesn't seem like, you know, it's been 12 years. Yeah. It seems like just yesterday. Rodney was driving down this road just five minutes from home when he looked down at his cell phone for one second and in an instant he was gone. 18 year old Rodney Thompson, an aspiring attorney and star senior basketball player for Homestead, dead. His friend in the car escaping with only minor injuries. Here's what a friend had to say at a vigil after the crash. I'm thinking about the good days, all the good times, you know what I mean? Now he's just up above looking down at me. And everyone, I can just remember the candles and the, um, just like I, you, the energy was just so heavy. Amani, Rodney's little sister, just six at the time, says she remembers that day vividly. Everyone was just so shocked and they, they couldn't believe it. For Rodney's mom, 12 years later, it's still hard to believe. I miss him every day. Davida has channeled her grief and is raising awareness of the dangers distracted driving poses, speaking at schools and sharing her son's story, something police are trying to do too. What we're trying to do is uh, change the behavior associated with using your phone while you're driving with the ultimate goal of reducing the number of crashes, injuries and fatalities. As for Davida's message to distracted drivers, it's just not worth it. The loss of your loved one, the ramifications, the heartache that doesn't go away, the mental illness, the distress, the grief, um, it's just, it's just not worth it. We reached out to the Fort Wayne Police Department to understand why they've issued only one ticket. And Public Information or information Officer Sergeant Sophia rosales Scatina told us this, quote, During a pandemic like we are in currently, we have a priority of need. Our calls for service have increased during this time, and our, and our first priority are those calls. Comparing citations from ISP to FWPD will always be disproportionate. ISP handle mainly traffic enforcement, while our officers 
are tasked with numerous 911 calls that must be answered as well as traffic enforcement when they are able to do so, end quote. Right now, if you do receive a ticket, it won't mean points on your driver's license, but as of July 1st of 2021, one year after the law took effect, that will change. Indiana State Police officials say that their objective out of the gate is information and education, that they expected the number of warnings to start with, or expected the number of warnings to be higher to start with, adding that after the beginning of the new year, they think those numbers will start to level out. All right, interesting look at the numbers. Caitlin, thank you very much. And if you have a digging deeper tip you'd like us to look at, leave us a message at this number, 260-376-0281 or send us an email at diggingdeeper at WPTA21.com.